Now, developing tonight, the first piece of the collapsed key bridge in Baltimore has been lifted from the wreckage scene. The Coast Guard and crews at the site say that this pivotal step is going to help determine how hard the ground is underneath surrounding that wrecked Dolly ship. This is an effort to eventually make way for vessel traffic to get into the port of Baltimore. The piece of the bridge removed today is more than 200 tons. You can see salvage teams there slicing through what's left of that bridge. The Coast Guard and the Army Corps of Engineers says that this process is going to help them determine just how to open up a limited temporary channel at the Port of Baltimore. Governor Wes Moore reiterates that the crews are working as quickly as possible, but still there is no timeline for reopening that passage. The Department of Transportation announced $60 million in emergency funding last week, and Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg says that more is coming. Today, Governor Moore called on Republicans in Congress to work with the Democrats to approve the federal funding needed to get that port back up and running. The reason that we need bipartisan support, the reason that we need Congress to act on this, do not do it because you're doing Maryland a favor. We don't need your favors. We need you to make sure that the American economy continues to grow and thrive, and we need you to step up and take leadership in this moment. And it's not just what you see here on the surface. The wreckage in the water underneath has made it impossible for divers to continue searching for the bodies of the four remaining construction workers who were killed in the collapse. President Biden is expected to go and visit the collapse site this week. Tonight, more than 2,000 cruise ship passengers are back in Baltimore. Their return from the Bahamas more challenging than they anticipated. News Force Derek Ward explains how cruises line, cruise lines rather now are shifting operations following the bridge collapse. The end of vacation for some 66 busloads of Carnival cruise trip travelers. That's 2,600 people. They're back where they started, but they had some 240 land miles tacked on. Our ships um, were scheduled to return here to uh, Baltimore, so as you can see now with the, um, the collapse of the, um, the bridge, um, we have shifted the operations to Norfolk. A tragedy happened while they were away. Six members of a pothole repair crew died. They were working on the Francis Scott Key Bridge when it was hit by an outbound cargo ship, causing the bridge to collapse. Uh, our thoughts are with the impacted families and the uh, first responders here in Baltimore. Now, the U.S. Coast Guard is using this space as their command center for the operations on the bridge repair and the clearing of the river there. So it's like a federal facility now. And you can't get in, but we managed to do some interviews through the fence. Cruise ship passengers we spoke to were taking it all in stride. They were shocked and saddened to learn of the news about the Francis Scott Key Bridge, but relatively pleased at the way Carnival arranged for their return to their point of embarkation. Not, not too bad, mm -hmm. you know, came into Norfolk and then uh, we got the, the buses, you know, the carnival arranged everything. We have given them complimentary um, bus services between the two cities, so trying to make it as smooth as possible and with little, you know, minimize the impact that this could have had and try to save their vacations at the same time. The cruise line will be docking in Norfolk for a while. We have communicated that to the guest, um, uh, to this cruise and the next cruise. Um, we'll be definitely operating from Norfolk. Everything else will have to be, you know, pending on the, uh, the cleanup and, and, you know, if they open the, uh, the marine traffic. She advises travelers monitor the cruise line's website for the most up-to-date information. Good advice for all maritime travelers who would normally get underway from the Baltimore terminal. And that includes some Royal Caribbean cruises. The city of Baltimore and, um, and the port, they have been amazing working with us. This is a, a you know, a home, a year, all year round home port. And we can't wait to come back here. Crews may be able to clear a portion of the channel, allowing for tugboats, barges, and smaller marine vessels to navigate the affected portion of the Patapsco River. As for the bigger vessels, it's too early to estimate when they'll get safe passage. In Baltimore, Derek Ward, News 4. As crews begin to clear the wreckage out of that Patapsco River site, four families are waiting for divers to find the remains of their loved ones who died in the collapse. Stay with News 4 for updates in that search and the latest on the cleanup efforts. When we're not on the air, you can find breaking updates online and in the NBC Washington app. We'll keep you posted.